is a system for mapping and uh, remote operation of the LEGO Mindstorms NXT. I used MATLAB to program it all. Um, this is the GUI. Uh, this holds pretty much everything that you can do with the program. Uh, it has controls for the computer control mode. It has the map. It has data from a Wiimote, which I used. And it has different options for uh, different modes. Uh, the three main modes are computer control, which is all on here, uh, Wiimote control, uh, and internet mode, which uh, I have a server running on my computer, and you can access this and control the NXT from anywhere in the world. So, uh, so the, Linux, the LEGO NXT is a robotic platform based on uh, LEGOs. It uses three Atmel microprocessors to uh, convert the program that you write on the computer into uh, code that the NXT can run. So uh, it has a microprocessor for processing that information, it has a Bluetooth processor, uh, and then it also has a third processor. Uh, it uses three sensor, it uses three servos uh, which control the motors, and it also has, this one has an ultrasonic sensor on the front. Um, you can also use ambient light detectors as well as other types of sensors. Uh, this information is sent over Bluetooth to the computer. So I'm getting all this information in MATLAB. So whenever uh, an object gets in front of the ultrasonic sensor, for example, uh, the com this will send that information and to MATLAB. I'm also using a Nintendo Wiimote. Uh, which features a three-axis accelerometer and an optical sensor on the front. With this, you can detect tilt, uh, roll, pitch, um, how hard you, someone's swinging it. Uh, this information is sent over Bluetooth to MATLAB, which can use it to uh, control the motors. So, for example, when I tilt the controller forward, it'll move the NXT forward. Uh, the, it also has seven buttons on it for directional control or going to different modes. Or the back button will uh, stop all control. Uh, it also has an optical sensor on the front which can t detect IR uh, lights. So if you have a set of IR beams, you can track them in a space. Right here, each different axis. Uh, only the X and Y axes are used for the NXT control, but all uh, three axes is, are displayed. So if you move, if you tilt the controller left, uh, points will be added uh, on the left side, and if you tilt right, as you can see, uh, and it just plots all your data. And same for the Y axis. So if you tilt it upwards, the points right here. And it goes from negative 10 to 10. And you can see I'm tilting it downwards now. And then the z-axis is also uh, displayed, but the information isn't uh, used with the NXT. The first mode is the computer control mode, which uh, uses the MATLAB GUI to move the robot. It uses these six commands, which are up, down, left, right, and then turning. And then it has a distance slider to set how far you want the robot to move. It also uh, tells you your positions, your X, Y, and heading up here. And this is represented on the map. So if we want to move the robot five centimeters forward, we push up. If we want it to move five centimeters to the left, we can push left button. It'll turn around and it'll go five centimeters that way. This is all represented on the map. You can also clear the map if you want to restart at some location. Uh, say uh, you want this to be your initial starting point, you can clear the map and it stores this data, but it gets rid of all previous points uh, that you've gone to. The second mode is... Right, so in Wiimote control mode, I have the uh, 
accelerometer values from the Wiimote coming into MATLAB and controlling the motors on the NXT. So if I tilt the controller forward, the NXT will move forward. Uh, and then if I tilt it right, it will start moving right or left or backwards. Um, it updates in the map. It isn't entirely accurate. Uh, one problem with using the NXT over Bluetooth is you don't get the encoder data from the uh, motors. Um, this is because of the latency with Bluetooth, so you wouldn't get accurate results, but unfortunately it does make for a bad map. Um, but it does show that you can use the remote to control the NXT. To move the NXT forward, all you have to do is tilt the remote forward. Uh, same with reverse. And then also, if you want to turn left, just turn the remote controller, tilt the remote controller, and it turns left. Uh, and uh, the third mode is the internet control mode. Uh, with this activated, you can control the NXT from anywhere in the world using the IP address and slash NXT control. Uh, this is running on an Apache server um, with PHP on this laptop. So if I move this, if I push the up button, the NXT will move five centimeters forward. Uh, this also has the point finding mode. So if I want to go to point uh, 60, 60, I can input these values and the robot will move forward. The map is supposed to update regularly. Uh, it depends on browser settings. Sometimes you have to reload the web page yourself. But MATLAB is sending the output from the GUI to the server, which is, can be updated on your computer. Uh, the, it basically, when you click one of these buttons, it sends a script that writes to a file uh, on this computer and then MATLAB reads that file. So every time it gets an update, it says, I want to move forward, I want to move left, I want to move right. And then MATLAB then sends information back to this server so that you can see the results. So now it shouldn't move any uh, farther forward because it sees this object here. Yep, and when I click up, it says, no, there are these objects here. Objects in front of robot, move another way.